Hello everyone and welcome back to Toon Revival. Uh, today we are playing Paderborn in the UEFA Cup and uh, things have not gone exactly as I would have hoped as per usual this season it seems. Uh, so we have uh, entered into uh, a contract renegotiation with Mandzukic and uh, this is the result. He, His agent wanted £104,000 a week. Uh, that's not going to happen. Um, as it is, he's a he's a declining player. Uh, I did want to hang on to him because I think he's a very good option for us up front. Although maybe not necessarily a starter, even though he's rated better than uh, Joel Linton. Uh, so I wanted to keep hold of him. It was very important to me that we kept hold of him, and more important that we got rid of that release fee. So he has signed up to a two-year deal, seventy-three thousand pounds a week, a six thousand pound, six and a half thousand pound appearance bonus, and a goal bonus of nearly fifteen thousand uh, pounds. We, we can more than afford that. That's not a problem whatsoever. So we're happy to get that job done, and uh, Mandzukic will be a uh, he will be a Newcastle United player for the foreseeable future unless we get a ridiculous offer for him. As far as the results have gone, they've not been great. We've only played a couple of games. Uh, we played Fulham and lost 1-0. Guess who scored for Fulham? Yep, the old boy, the old Newcastle United player. I'm not going to name him because it does my head in. We absolutely dominated the match. Uh, we had about 10 shots, 8 on target. Fulham had 2 shots and they scored with one of those. Mitrovic, there, are, there you go, I've, I've named him, um, scoring the winner in the 88th minute or something stupid like that. Uh, against Burnley, we pretty much had exactly the same game. Burnley had 1 shot on target and it ended up in the back of the net. Meanwhile, we had about eight, I think, and uh, we only managed to score with a last-minute equaliser from Coco off of the bench. We replaced our entire front line uh, in the dying minutes, and it eventually paid off. But, yeah, I I don't know if it's the AI getting the lay of how I play, or if I'm just getting really bad or, or what, but like, teamwork isn't a problem. We've got a rating, a team rating of 90, so we should be good. We should be fine as far as teamwork is concerned. Um, if we get to halfway through the season, if we get to Christmas and we're still not playing, it, it's not even playing, it's finishing. That's our problem, is finishing. So anyway, today we're playing Paderborn in the Europa League. I think, if I remember correctly, this is pretty much a, a must win for us. Let's have a quick look at the table, if we can remember how to get into it there we go group stages right yeah this is pretty much a, a, a win or, or bust situation for us ideally we want to have 10 points or more to get out of the group um, we got we're on four so we need to win at least two of our last three matches and I don't know if we've got a chance against Fenerbahce so th this is do or die this really is a case of if you want to be in it then you're going to have to win it formation for today same as always uh, except Joel Linton's not looking fantastic he didn't have a very good game last time out uh, Mandzukic is looking even worse actually so <laughs> um, I don't know what we're going to do there I think maybe Muto starts up front for us Hayden is of course suspended so I think we will play Bodma back there and let's see what else are we going to do. Yedlin's going to go back on the bench because now Henrix is available for us again. It looks like that injury wasn't as bad as we first thought it might be. Uh, Mandzukic is going to have to sit on the bench. Joel Linton's going to have to sit on the bench. Uh, Okay. And I'm going to give Schubert a game. Because he played last time. He did actually play quite well. Uh, yep, okay. That's going to do us. That is our team for today. So Schubert in goal. Lascelles, Hummels, Willems and Henricks at the back. 
Bodmer as the defensive midfielder, Unkunku and Almiron ahead in attacking midfield with uh, Allen, Matt Ritchie and Muto playing as our central striker. If he gets a hat full of goals, I might have to play him in the next match, but we'll have to wait and see how he does there. Okay. Hello and welcome one and all. Great to have you on board for our continued coverage of these group stages and it is safe to say that we're now entering the race for the finish line. So Newcastle playing in their away strip of all orange. I actually quite like this kit. I like playing in it better than I do the black and white, which I know is blasphemy if you're a magpie, but... ...and who their potential opponents may be. You do sense inevitably a much greater sense of urgency from those both on the hits one Oof. never going in but it's easier as a, as a player to actually spot your uh, your players on the pitch in bright orange than it is in black and white stripes especially when you're playing other teams that have white or black or, or something in their kit it can muddy the waters ever so slightly go on oh, go on Oh my word, how have we not put that in and now I'm worried that we're going to get a man sent off. No, it's a yellow card, okay. I do actually like to reverse my cross and shoot buttons, which means every now and then I do get myself in a little bit of trouble. But Matt Ritchie with a forwards challenge and luckily the uh, referee has seen it as that and uh, decided only to give me a yellow card. We'll have to be careful with Ritchie now though. Keeper's got good distance on that. More than happy to take He's been muscled off the ball, but we have been given the free kick for free it, so that's fine. Willems. Almiron. Tries to get it clear. Uh, again, never going to go in from there, but I, ca I can't resist every now and then hitting a, a blaster from outside the box in the vain hope, the vain hope that it might one day go in. Richie, and here's Muto. Timely intervention. He's a muscular little player, Muto. Like, he holds the ball up quite well against this lot. Oh, referee, come on. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Played down the flank. And he's on Trouble side. here. Got trouble. So who's he picking out? Could move up a gear here. Looks to come on, get on forward. that. Get on it. Cuts it out. <sighs> put paid to a promising move. I haven't got quite enough pace in that central area to be able to play those raking through the balls. Through ball is intercepted. Kunku. And the counter is on. The ball's as well there. Alert. Richie. Oh, what's he played that for? Offside that time. Offside against who? Richie? Yeah, unfortunately. Try and use those wide men as uh, a distraction. Make space for the centre forward to make runs. He's got options out wide. Now it's Muto. Oh, there we go. Allen, he's got Face a chance. For goes for goal. Yes, there he goes. He's nestled it in the bottom corner. We're 1-0 up, really one and that's one. a good start Once for Newcastle, 23 minutes in, 1-0 to the good. Well, was there ever any doubt? It made it and now, like as long as we don't play over silly over buggers at the back, and again, and we're on our way. Has. 
Good hold up play by Muto. Deadlock Excellent Brentford. through ball to up. unlock the defence. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Across the field it goes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. What was that? No fluke. It's what he was there for. That is a fluke. It's a massive fluke. The ball comes off of the Newcastle defender straight into the path of the centre forward. Who all he has to do is tuck it away. And you don't pass those kind of chances up, do you? Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous, and it's one all, and we have indeed made an absolute mess of it. And we're all square. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang. Okay, Richie. Oh, it's two one. It's two one. The instant reply, and Muto, having brought him on as an emergency measure, has shown his worth by being involved in both goals today. And that's what the game is all I don't about. think much Find of his turtle neck undershirt but I like his finish Newcastle get themselves into the lead and it's played forward wrestled off the ball a real chance to break and it's Muto it's come through and he's had a quick look inside oh hello number three it's number three Alan again lightning pace and fantastic finishing and he's absolutely mullered the Paderborn defenders there Lovely you little build-up to the that, goal. I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took a little lofted to through ball, ball to to played play. on they by really Allen. He kept well going with his run. You see the through ball there. He passes it on to the player outside of him. It's an early ball, but he's got complete faith in Allen to be able to get onto it with his pace. And doesn't he just? Outside of the right boot, cheeky bastard. It's 3-1 Newcastle. Newcastle, two up and into a position of real strength. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell it for them. It looks like they've had enough of uh, Allen now because they've be uh, decided the to tightly mark him. So let's see what happens with that. Time to switch it to the other wing, I imagine. And things are looking pretty good. Really making a nuisance Forward of ourselves goes. down this side of the pitch. Over hits and out of play. It's going mm. to be okay, throw. Paderborn are starting to use a high press to try and put pressure on us. Just have to take the uh, the low pressure route back out. Henricks. Newcastle have scored two quick goals here and are firmly in control at 3 1. Oh, nearly. Gonna take it out wide. Lovely Needs bit a bit of more skill. support out there. He's oh, not really got it. Here he Wins. goes. Good, try cutting inside here. good cross taken out by the defender, and it's gonna be a corner. Defending of the desperate Poor corner. Variety. Good work on the right flank. Now the pace of this lad. He's left right Willems right, in the dust. To keep going. Time to deliver. And he's there to cut it out. Very and calm. Kuku. Richie plays it forward. Ah, unlucky, unlucky. Okay, 3-1 at half-time. 
a very, very good half for uh, the top Tottenham. Good Lord, what am I talking about here? A very good half for the Newcastle attack. Not brilliant for the defence, but they've done themselves fairly well. Where they left off after the break. They should Might make the, the change in the second board. half, replacing Probably Willems with a slightly more defensively minded Newcastle fullback because they are looking dangerous Protesting down that side, alive. although his pace is difficult one. to replace. So we're just settling back into this second Don't half. Don't really want to play Richie there, which would normally be my pacey alternative down that wing. Shakes to volley it. Oh, <laughs> two bites at the cherry. Neither one really working out for him. And Kunku's been all over the pitch today. It's a clearance, but not much of one. Almiron. He's had a go! He's had another crack from outside the box. Still not coming off. And that's going to be another corner. Willems plays it short. That's not going far. Almiron. Oh, shooting chance! They're very good defensively. To uh, you know, they're aware of the uh, potential long shot. There's a long ball. Back to the goalkeeper. And nice and safe. No trouble there. And we have two Lascelles. options to play out. We take the one to the right. Henricks. Hoist Unfortunately, it couldn't get a player on to challenge, but well within the oh, laws. Come on, intercept that. Well played. Oh no, not so well played. Not so well played at all. Oh my word, what a finish that is! And this game is not anywhere near done and dusted. Ross McCormack didn't even know he was playing for Paderborn and unfortunately that is all down to poor defending and I think it might be Willems the player we were talking about substituting who has let it get caught up in his feet and has been caught on the ball and oh dear oh dear and in fact I think maybe since we don't have to worry about pushing ourselves too much I think that's going to be Willem's game over with. The only problem we've got is that Vadonk is not in very good form. Yedlin is quicker, but even worse defensively than Willem's. I'm going to risk it with Vadonk and just hope that things work Newcastle out for us. Are making a change now. We're just going to have to play it very, very safe at the back from here, here on. Well, I think they probably needed an early goal in this half just to give them the confidence and belief to push on and look for an equaliser. Richie with a delicate ball. Well, keep going, keep going. That's it. Got a throw in. Richie, Richie decides to play it back. And he's there to clear it. Goes for goal! It's a good shot. It's a it's very, a very good loose. shot. And that's been leave it clear. And to put some pressure on them if we can. Tries to get it forward quickly. That's gone out of play. It's going to be our throw. Unforced error from Paderborn there. And here's Muto. Not the... <sighs> oh, hello. Ooh, nearly. Paderborn are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. All right, we've got a, a lot of room down this left-hand side. Shoots! And someone's got their foot in. 
tight marking. I don't know if it's still an effect on... Uh, I don't think the tight marking is still an effect on Allen. You'd think that he so wouldn't have had anywhere near as much time on the ball line. if it was. So it's be a, change. a bit more power on the ball. Come on, let's try and get a header on goal at least. Clear. Lovely feet. Richie. Big chance! Oof. Oh, denied! Brilliantly! Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Paderborn making consecutive changes here. Played it short. Henricks goes for and the shot! Off the bar! That's a half decent try. <laughs> oh, that's a, an agonizing miss. Just pure agonizing. Unfortunate for the number 17. Is that Nkunku, perhaps? Right, they're going to go along with this one. That's won by Hummels, the Here's German international. That won't get through. Almiron is officially the best player in the team when it comes to receiving passes. It's all right when they're playing it around the back. Now they play the long ball, we need to win the header. We've not won the header, but we have won the second ball, so that's OK. They're actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Ah, the players have got in each other's way. Still that's put pressure on the Little goalkeeper. They've given the foul for the earlier incident, and, and there's a yellow taken. card as well. I have to admit, I didn't see much in it. We'll see in the replay. OK, so he just takes the donk out after the ball has already been released. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Come on. Put a little bit more pressure on the ball at the back here. Try and make them play it out. Just five minutes long. left. Our strength does Almost appear to be in the air. The players can feel it. Four we go. goes. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the ah, danger. No, couldn't win the second ball, and it was really an easy one to win. Oh, come on, win that. You got. To, you got. To, it's there forward. you go. Well, make more of an effort. Seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue the situation, and it needs to be any time now. Ah, he's not going to get onto that, unfortunately. It's Muto. Might get onto this. Oh, no, direct. it's a terrible pass by Muto. In fairness, he didn't have much time, and it might have been on his wrong foot as well. Hoist it forward. They're playing as if time is on their side when it's it's fast running out. They've got to quicken this up. And it's played forward. Winners. That's good. And that is it. 3-2 final score. All of the hard work done in the first half. It was a poor second half in fairness. But uh, we will take the result. We'll absolutely take the result away from home. That's Paderborn eliminated. They can't possibly qualify now. So now it comes down to us and Grozny, I believe. Fenerbahce surely at this point can't fall away. Be interesting to see how many shots we had and how many of them were on target. 16 shots, uh, 11 on target, three goals out as a result. That's that's not too bad. Paderborn very efficient with their shots, although one of them was essentially a tap-in. Pretty happy with that overall. I would say we allowed way too much time around our box. That first goal was an absolute travesty of defending. <laughs> Can't say any more about that. Uh, Lascelles not getting the best of ratings in this game. The Donk getting absolutely slaughtered, apparently. But I thought he did better than Willems, to be honest. So how does that leave the group? Well, if we can beat Grozny, I think 
that pretty much guarantees our passage through to the next round. Okay, and that's going to do it for another episode. Hopefully you'll come back and uh, join us next time when we play... I mean, do we go straight into Manchester City? I, I feel like that's going to be an awful, awful humiliating game for us, but maybe we should anyway. Yeah, why not? Okay, join us next time when we play Manchester City. Until then, thanks very much for watching. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.